Maven, fuel reserves essential for maintaining water supply in the southern Gaza Strip are running dangerously low. Consequently, United Nations aid agencies have had to curtail their operations in the region. Ms. Juliet Tuma, the Director of Communications for UNRWA, urgently stresses the need for fuel to continue serving the 629,000 people in facilities who sought refuge for the north of Gaza for their safety. Dr. Adbel Kader Hamoud, a surgeon in Gaza, paints a bleak picture of the situation, explaining how hospitals and bakeries are severely affected. People are now contending for food and water with long queues forming at the bakeries. Hospitals are grappling with difficult decisions as they lack the necessary medical equipment to cope with the influx of wounded patients. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Conricus, an Israeli military spokesman, suggests that UNRWA requests thousands of litres of fuel stored in tanks near the border with Egypt. He claims that this would be sufficient to keep hospitals and water pumps operational for many days. However, Hamas appears to prioritise the use of this fuel for military purposes rather than for the welfare of civilians. Meanwhile, the United Nations Regional Humanitarian Chief Lynn Hastings argues that they lack information about fuel being available for Hamas to access. She also highlights the dire situation of scarce clean drinking water, which is forcing people to consume dirty or salinated water. This water crisis has had led to sanitation systems becoming blocked as there's insufficient electricity to pump sewage into the sea, resulting in the potential for a sewage overflow on the streets. Maybe.